G'day guys, Cody here, and in today's video, I'm going to go on an awesome adventure. So, um, as you can see, I've got three controllers here that I have to ship out. I actually ran out of tape, so I've got to go down the shop and get some, and um, finish the packaging on those. Sold a few shirts and some shoes, um, and that's just one of the guitars that go on here. But that's what I've got to ship out today, and also, picked this up yesterday. It's $4.50. It's a TI-84 Plus graphicking calculator um, and some of these sold for like $60 plus on eBay. The only problem I have with it right now is that it's untested so I've got to go down the shop and buy some batteries for it. Okay guys, so you are seeing this firsthand. I have not tested this before this video so I've got the batteries um, and the calculator's here. I'm about to put the batteries in it and um, let's see if we've made some money. So the batteries are in now. Let's just put on the back lid. And the moment of truth to see if this works. Oh, we've got some action. What's happening? Let's see. Five times. Oh, oh, it's working. Boom. Look at that. It works. You ripper. So some sold for like $30 and some sold for $90. It's crazy how different um, the market price was for these. Um, the ones that sold for a really high price, they um, listed it at a 99 cent bid. So I'm going to do the same. I paid $4.50. And anyway, the lady at the shop, she said that if it didn't work, that um, I could get my money back for it. So that's pretty cool. However, it does work. So we're looking at about a 60 plus dollar profit, depending on how the bid goes. But um, I'll probably keep you guys updated. So I made it to um, this town. Uh, I had to drive for about 50 minutes, almost an hour to get here. Um, but I guess that's just what you gotta do sometimes in this thrifting business. Gotta do what you gotta do. Over there, there's two op shops side by side. One up here and one way down the end. Um, we'll hit them all up. They're all in one big street. So um, we'll see how we go. Hopefully, hopefully we find something really good. Actually guys, it's been quite a while since I last um, films before. I'm at an op shop now. I'm going to hit them up, see how I go. Um, the op shop that I was just in, I picked up a few things I've been meaning to show you guys, but I've just been busy um, trying to get to as many op shops as I can because I'm time restricted today. So we'll go into this Vinnie's and see how we go. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to film most of my ride alongs today. Um, as it turned out, I was pretty busy jumping from each op shop to each and um, Instead, I decided not to film everything, um, but we're here now at home, so um, I'll show you guys what I got. Just quickly, I actually went um, op shopping yesterday, and I picked up a few items, so I thought I'd quickly show you guys those. I picked up this RM Williams, um, it's, a, it's a lamb's wool and nylon sweater. It's in really, really good condition, nothing wrong with it, and um, I pay like $13 for this one. And I was thinking to put it up for about $5 at a, at a starting bid price. And similar ones like these, inner size, small sold, for around $40 to $50. Now obviously I brought um, that calculator that I showed you at the beginning of the video as well. But um, I brought this Burberry's polo shirt in a size extra, extra large. So that was a really cool find. Now this one I paid $8 for, and I was just going to put it up on eBay for about $40 with the best offer. Okay, so this is the box of goodies that I got today. So as you can see, I picked up another Guitar Hero controller and I flipped these generally 30 all the way up to 40, sometimes even $50. This one cost me $5 and um, it's for the PlayStation PlayStation 3. I'll probably get anywhere from 35 up to about $40 for this one. Also guys, I did pick up another electronic device, but I'm gonna show you that at the end of this little haul, because I wanna keep it a surprise for now. It is actually quite a profitable item, so I'm gonna keep that one a surprise right to the end. But I brought that Guitar Hero controller from the same place, and the lady said that if they don't work, she'll give me a refund for them. 
despite however long it takes me for me to return them, considering I do live quite far away from where that op shop was. But let's get stuck into what else I got. The clothing items that I picked up was, um, number one, this really nice um, Ralph Lauren hoodie with a big pony. Um, it's about a size medium. And um, I paid $10.25 for this one. I was going to put it up for $35 um, with a bid, and um, it'll probably go up a bit more. Next, I flipped on this Abracobi and Finch size large sweater. Now, I flipped a few of these in the past. It's a really good brand to look out for. I paid $9 for this sweater, and um, I was going to put it up for $29 with the best offer and make a quick $20 there. Then I flipped on another RM Williams item. This is a short sleeve button front shirt. It's a size extra, extra large. Uh, this one I paid $12 for. And I was going to put it up for about uh, $25 at a starting bid price. And um, I could probably get anywhere $30 plus for it. Now this last clothing item is pretty cool. It's a vintage polo sport by Ralph Lauren. Long sleeve uh, polo shirt. Um, now it's a size extra large, but something like this is pretty cool and unique because they're quite a rare item now. This one I paid six dollars for, so it was a pretty good investment, and um, I could get anywhere for about forty to fifty dollars for it. Now this, this is the item I was talking about. It is a Logitech um, Driving Force GT uh, controller for the PlayStation Three, and I picked it up for fifteen dollars. However, it was untested, so I was a bit of a gamble buying it, knowing that it may not work. However, I brought it back home, I connected it up to the PlayStation 3, and it all works fine in regards to the buttons and stuff on it. Like, you press the buttons on them, and it works really good. But then, when I go to steer, it doesn't turn the car, and um, I don't know whether that's a, a deficiency in the actual controller itself, or that I am missing, and I think this is the actual reason, missing the connection AC adapter cord that plugs into the front of it. So it came in the original box. So here it is out of the box. But yeah, when I try and steer it, it doesn't turn the car, so I'm not sure what's going on. At the front here, as you can see, there's two cord spots right there. Now I've got the cord for this one, but this one here I don't have any AC cord for it. I'm trying to find them around the house to see if I can find one. If I find it, it might possibly be able to make the steering work, but I'm not sure. I looked it up on forums and all that stuff, and some people seem to have this problem. So, hopefully it is just that I'm missing that AC cord, but if it works when the cord's connected and the car steers, then I can get anywhere from $60 to $80 for this controller. Not bad for a $15 investment, so. Also, I should mention that the pedals do work, and um, that's the cord that plugs into the pedals. But yeah, it's just the steering. That's about all for today's video. Um, I want to say thanks again, guys, for watching. If you are a subscriber, thanks heaps. But if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out heaps. And also, show some love by giving this video an awesome thumbs up. Thanks guys.